Okay, let's talk a coordinated core engagement pattern and what to look for and how to brace your core before movement or before exercise. So I am gonna expose my belly on video. Um, okay, so what I want, so what we're talking about, if you've worked with me, you know that core cylinder that wraps through the center of our body between our ribs and our pelvis um, and our inner core, our deep levels, in the, think of it like a cylinder in your body. So in the front, we have our abdominal wall, um, but we're looking a lot at the transverse abdominus, which is the corset muscle that comes this way, but all of the other muscles are very important as well, as is that connective tissue line down the center um, and how well that transfers force, right? So we've got our abdominal wall in the front. At the base of that cylinder, we have our pelvic floor complex, which is not just the squeezy, squeezy muscles, it's a system of muscles down there that have a lot of roles, which we can talk about another time in, in blog posts. Um, in the back of that cylinder, we have our spine stabilizers, right? And on top of that cylinder, that core cylinder, we have our breathing diaphragm, which is a broad muscle up here. So <clears throat> commonly overlooked our breathing diaphragm and pelvic floor as being a part of your core. It's not just about the abs. So how do we find a nice coordinated contraction? to be able to control pressure, to be able to hug and support our spine and our pelvis for movement. So I'm gonna to turn to the side. So one of, I'm first gonna show you what I see a lot of times. So it, and in terms of errors, but we think we're doing it right. So one is to kind of suck in or zip up really hard from the bottom, but forget about the top. So that, bear with me if I kind of kind of do it, but that looks like this, so, right? So we're sucking in really hard, we're about all this on, and our rib cage is flared open because we have forgotten to close that umbrella, right? So that's one common error. Another common error is turning on and being very aware of these upper abdominals. So we, like this, I got it. And then we get this doming in our lower abdomen, and this real strong activation up here, okay? So those two things, you can imagine if this cylinder was like a balloon, you know, filled with air, it's a cylinder filled with pressure. If you coordinate in either of those ways, you're gonna get a mismanagement of pressure, particularly the sucking in at your center or the, um, that, so sucking in at the center is imagine squeezing, squeezing the middle of a balloon, right? What happens? You get a push of pressure downward, you get a push of pressure upward, right? Um, when you over-engage your upper abs and get that crunch in your rib cage and that doming down here, you're squeezing the top of that balloon. So imagine all the pressure comes down, right? So we're putting extra pressure to control through our lower abdomen, pelvis, pelvic floor. So what you're looking for is that gentle, Gentle, so what I tell my clients is a gentle, when you're getting ready for movement, when you're just, you know, that base, you should be able to breathe through this. It's not a grip, it's just an engagement, right? So start at the bottom and just zip up a little bit, right? And if you've worked with me, you know what that feels like, but basically just think about just closing your holes of your pelvis, just close your holes a little bit and bring um, some tension between these um, parts of your pelvis, kind of closing them like a book inward. So you should feel this gentle lift, right? Now, without losing that gentle lift, I want you to make sure your ribs are not flared, make sure they're not crunched. We're just bringing them in line with your um, hip bones here. So your hip bones here, ASIS, and rib cage here, these bumps here, should be in line. So basically, you just wrapped and you hugged your um, inner core towards your spine for some support, okay? Easy to do when you're pregnant, well, not easy to do when you're pregnant, but easy to think about because I want you to hug baby. Or if you've been pregnant, think about that. Okay, I'm gonna hug baby, right? So you get that full coordinated, right? That zipping in. Now, you should be able to breathe here. That's just ready for movement. When you're laying down, you should feel a gentle grounding, not a pushing, but you should feel your lower ribs are grounded and your hips and your pelvis, your sacrum 
are grounded, right? Little tiny natural curve in your low back. That is that coordinated core contraction. And then when you go to move, now we're not gonna lose this. So a lot of times, imagine me lying down if I was gonna go lift my leg, right? Sometimes I'll go pop with my ribs to lift my leg, but that is no good. So you keep that grounding, you keep that wrap, and then you isolate a movement with your exhale, right? But this is our base position. When you feel like you're losing it, that's how you know, okay, is my body controlling this exercise well, or is it not? <clears throat> That is how you know your level and when you need to modify and what you're safe doing. When you can feel, okay, I've got it, I got that, I have that grounding, everything's in line, I have that nice zip up and wrap here, not aggressive, and I'm able to hold it. And then when I lose it, I can bring it back again and then start my exercise. So you move from the point of stability, repetition, patterning, and then your body will get used to it and you'll find, oh, I can do more and more from this really nice, stable base.